what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel today we're back and we're taking a second look at dark and light we wanted to see how has this game done since its release a lot of you probably remember that at launch the game had so many bugs that it was virtually unplayable the servers were lagging characters would get stuck everywhere nothing worked and the overall gameplay was just not great patches did not come soon enough and that's where it was left. Now, what is Dark and Light? For those of you not aware, here is some backstory. This game was originally being developed by NP Cube back in 2006, but it was dropped and Snail took it over using the Unreal 4 engine. This game was supposed to be released by Snail sometime in 2016, 10 years later, but it was again rescheduled for the July of 2017 and it was released in early access. Now, I personally had been waiting a long time for this game to appear, and I was super excited when it was finally launched. I purchased it as soon as it was available, day one, July 20th. This was the day that this game was released. I had never been so disappointed in my life when I had finally got the game downloaded, hopped in, and experienced the horrible gameplay that was waiting for me. The idea this game had was absolutely fantastic, but the experience was awful. So, I tried playing it for a few weeks, and I honestly gave it a solid chance, but I decided that it was best to set it aside and wait for some updates to be made. So here we are, a second look, and I must say that I am now thoroughly impressed by how much better this overall gameplay is now. Please note, this game is still in early access as of May of 2019, and it does still contain some bugs, but the game is playable now. I currently have two servers that are up and running, one for each map. Yeah, that's right. In case you haven't been following their news page, they've released another map, Shard of Faith. This map is significantly different from the Sacred Path that we all so remember. They fixed the majority of the bugs on the first map and have released a completely new one. A little bit of changes. The most notable change on this map is you can't really fly on this map. It was built for ground teams, and it doesn't have any creatures that you can tame that fly. And you can still transform into an owl if you really need to get your flying fix in, or you can just hop back over to the sacred path again and be with your dragons and griffins or other flying creatures. One other way that they have implemented to getting around quickly on this map is to use the teleportation runes. Now, you ask, why should I get this game? Is it worth it? All you've really been talking about is the history of this game and how it's progressed into launch, but what has the actual gameplay been like? Well, let me tell you. This game has gone through some significant reoptimization changes that has completely changed how quickly this game loads. It does still take some time, but it is most certainly under the four minute mark that is what it used to be. For me, it only takes about 25 to 30 seconds to get in game. Most of the time, it is faster. Now, my servers are hosted three states away from where I am at. So I do play through the internet like most everyone else. I am not LAN connected. But the lag we used to experience was just absolutely horrendous. Tell me about this. Well, I can honestly say there are still some times that there is some lag, but it is barely noticeable now and it doesn't happen very often. I would even argue that at times, it's probably just my internet connection. Gameplay has been smoothed out a lot and everything seems so much more fluid with the experience. Graphics are better than ever and new items are still being implemented. The devs are actively working on new updates to change and have really made this game fill the potential that it once had. The building mechanics are so much better now and there are no more issues with grids not snapping into place when you want them to. Building really just feels natural now. Tell me about the taming process. This used to take so long. Well, it still takes a while. <laughs> but you can modify the taming speed if you really want without a lot of hassle. If you are playing in single player, you can modify this very easily in your single player settings. And server owners can also modify the taming speed so you're not spending your entire day waiting for a bar to fill up. To better reflect other games in the market, 
Snail has also done a price reduction and hopes to make this game more attractive since a lot of players originally returned the game since it was not playable at launch. Dark and Light is still an early access game and does still have some bugs, but if you're on the edge and wondering if the game is truly worth it, well, I would tell you to go ahead, pick it up, give it another shot, and you might just be impressed now. And if that's still not enough to make you want to get the game, I will be releasing new videos regularly, so stay tuned and look for some more exciting gameplay. Hey guys, this has been fun, and I look forward to posting more videos in the future on this game. Stay tuned and hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on everything that my channel has to offer. Let me know what you all think. I'm constantly looking for new ways to improve my content for you all. Leave some comments down below and let's get a conversation started. Check out the website and come say hello in Discord. This is Demon Angel, signing off. I'll see you next time.